TV News Extra, Rita Cosby has part one of Jury Pool. A lot of civilization depends on the jury system. Twelve people really are better than one. That somebody's life, you know, is in your hands, it's a very hard decision. Being there so close to the family and knowing what they went through. It is perhaps our ultimate sacrifice, jury duty. Last year, 42,000 people in Mecklenburg County were summoned, sent these papers in the mail. It's not hard when you're called to be a juror if you don't want to serve uh, to, 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 to get out of it. What was your date that you were supposed to have been here? 512? That's how many excuses Shavana Barnett, the jury coordinator, hears every day from the thousands who want to get out of serving. 5% are successful. She was out of the country, then she had car trouble, then uh, she forgot, and now she's got a DWI. And how did they get your name to begin with? Easy. The master jury pool is a combined list of registered voters and licensed drivers. And who gets picked? It's strictly random. And you might think what you do for a living excludes you from sitting in a chair like this at some point. Think again. Judges have been summoned, so of Hornets players like Muggsy Bogues, and even TV reporters like me. An untrained person. Charlotte attorney right Matt Joyner served on a rape trial four years ago. It was a wonderful experience for me as a lawyer to see what actually goes on. And who do attorneys want to see in these seats? You want good old salt of, salt of the earth people uh, who can appreciate the human quality. I want a juror who is going to sit and listen and not try to be a take charge person in the jury room. Being forced to be with someone for five weeks. But what happens inside that jury room is out of jack wool for any lawyer's control. These jurors know that all too well. They still have nightmares about their decisions to serve justice. Tomorrow, we'll hear their stories. Rita Cosby, WBTV News Channel 3. Amtrak passengers are heading to court, and that tops regional news. Last week's train accident in Selma killed an Amtrak. VTV Extra Report is next. Well Shaken up from work and your family. At worst, it can mean living in fear of death threats, bribes, and nightmares. In tonight's WBTV News Extra Report, Rita Cosby shows us the pitfalls of deliberating a high-profile case, part two of The Jury Pool. If he ever gets out and ever wants revenge on anyone, that you know, he's going to come looking for the jury. Hearing the audible gasp, you know, from a mother, it was very hard, very emotional. There's a lot of times I can still close my eyes and I can see him, and that still bothers me to this day. These faces are haunted by these. He had so little emotion, and but I'm glad that I saw that. I think you also developed kind of a siege mentality as well because you're shoved up in the These five jurors room. served on two of Charlotte's most controversial cases. They faced the most difficult decision a human can make, to determine life or death. I was so hurt that justice had not been done. In March, they and eight others failed to convince this lone juror to give convicted cop killer Calvin Cunningham the death sentence. The hung jury was forced to give him life in prison and a possible parole date in 16 years. The only holdout, Frankie Johnson, immediately went into seclusion, enduring death threats. But tonight, in these never-before-published letters to the judge, she discloses all. She says she stopped deliberating because in the jury room, she was subjected to, quote, verbal abuse, threats, and racial slurs. I feel no juror should face what has happened to me at any time. What's your feeling on that? I think the tension in the courtroom at times 
brought people to say some things that they shouldn't say. When you're in a room for eight hours and you don't even get the courtesy of someone looking you in the face when you're talking to them, then yeah, you're going to get rude just to get reaction. And he brought forth a document. The trial is over, but these jurors remain shrouded in guilt and now fear. It's frightening to know that anybody can find you. Even before you get into a courtroom, jurors have to fill out this questionnaire, which asks questions about schooling, your job, and even your family. Calvin Cunningham, who acted as his own defense attorney in his retrial, sat in this seat with a stack of these questionnaires. He asked prospective jurors about the personal information contained in them. He even asked one juror to repeat out loud several times where she lived. All this disclosure came as a big shock to Denise Ford, a foreman on a high-profile civil case which made national headlines. She still doesn't want the specific case mentioned because she too received death threats. People calling me all hours of the day and day and night, and that followed me for weeks. Denise changed her phone number, her last name, and left her job. I could see where a jury would modify their decision based on that fear. Still, many of these jurors say they'd do it again. That might help them erase the painful memories, help them uphold what being a juror is all about. That was probably one of the most emotional things I ever went through, uh, but it was something I felt that it was, was my duty to do. Rita Cosby, WBTV News Channel 3. When it comes to cars, sportier models are the hottest demand.